Hello everyone, welcome to the Logo Design Lab series, episode 3. Okay, this is the random word generator website. Go to more. Then scroll down to the Pictionary Generator. Increase the number of words to 2, then click here to generate the words. And the combinations for this episode are, Flag Ghost, and Detective Owl. Starting with the Flag and Ghost logo. I will make a horizontal rectangle like this. Then go to Effect. Distort and Transform, then click on Zigzag. Check the Smooth option. Then decrease the size a little. Then press OK. Go to Object, then click on Expand Appearance. With the Eraser tool, hold Alt and delete this part. Then do the same for this part. Hold Alt and drag this part to duplicate it. Then press Ctrl D to repeat the same action. Select the three shapes and stretch them from the right. Now make a vertical rectangle here. Then with the ellipse tool. Make a little circle up here. Then drag it a little bit down. Now make a rectangle here. Then stretch it a little bit, and then give it the white color. With the direct selection tool, hold shift and select these two anchor points, then drag the widget to make it rounded. Hold out and drag this rectangle and align it with the flag. Then select it along with the white shape and the top part of the flag, then with the shape builder, Click on this gap to fill it. And now delete the duplicated rectangle. With the pen tool. Make a line on this part. Then close the shape from the left like this. Ctrl X to cut the shape. Then select the white shape. And press Ctrl B to paste it behind. Then select it along with these two parts. And from the pathfinder, click on Unite. Now select the white shape with the united shape, then go to the pathfinder and click on minus front. With the eraser tool I will delete this. Then make a little circle here. Then hold out and drag it to the right. Now make an ellipse here. Then go to Effect, Wrap, and click on Arc. Decrease the bend value a little. Then press OK. Go to Object and click on Expand Appearance. Resize it to fit the ghost face. Then select these two anchor points. And drag the widget to make this gap rounded. Then select this point, and make this corner rounded too. I make this rectangle shorter and that's it. Moving to the next logo, we will do the Owl and Detective words combination. I changed the color to white. I start by making a detective hat, with the pen tool. Make a mountain shape like this. Then select these three corners, and drag the widgets to make them rounded. With the pen tool, I close the shape. Then with the eraser tool, I hold out and drag to delete this part. Then I hold out and drag this part to duplicate it. Then go to Object, Transform, and click on Reflect. Select the two parts, and from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. I did this process to make it correctly symmetrical. With the Curvature tool, I drag this line to make it curved. It doesn't work. 
so I need to delete this anchor point, then with the pen tool. Close the shape again. Then with the curvature tool, drag this line down to make it curved. Now I shrink it down, then I drag it up. And then make an ellipse like this. Then go to Effect, Wrap, and click on Arc. Increase the bend value. Then press OK. Go to Object and click on Expand Appearances. Drag it here. Then with the pen tool make a bended line here, swap the fill and stroke. Then increase the stroke size. And change the width profile to this one. Select the line. Then go to Object, and click on Expand Appearance. With the pen tool, I will add a little part to this line, to make it aligned with the top part of the hat. Select them together, and from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Now I will move to illustrate the owl. So make a circle like this. Then with the pen tool, cover it with an inclined shape like this, select them together. Then go to the Pathfinder and click on Minus Front. Make a smaller circle here, then give it the background color. I rescale it until it fits my needs. Then I place it here. I select them together, then go to the Pathfinder, and click on Minus Front. Now make a little circle here. Then select them together and drag them here. Make it a little bit smaller. Then rotate it a little. Hold out and drag it to the left. Then go to Object. Transform, and click on Reflect. Then press OK. Drag it a bit to the right, then select all the eyes elements, and press Ctrl G to group them. Select the eyes along with the hat, then from the align panel, align them to the center. Shrink it down, then put it here. Select the polygon. Then click on the canvas, decrease the number of sides to 3, and press OK. Shrink down the triangle. Then scale it down from here, and then rotate it to the right by 180 degrees. Put it here, and align it with the center of the hat. Then hold shift and scale it down like this. With the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, and drag it up here. Then select the two top points and drag this segment up here. Make it a little bigger. Then select everything, and make sure that it's aligned to the center. Double click on the hat, select this element, Ctrl C to copy it, double click here, then Ctrl F to paste it, then drag it down here. Hold Shift and add the triangle to the selection, then go to the Pathfinder and press Minus Front. To make the beak, select the Pen tool. And starting from the middle, make a triangle like this. Then hold Alt and drag it to the right. Then go to Object, Transform, then Reflect and press OK. OK I think this doesn't align very well. So, delete this part. Then with the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, 
and try to align it with the bottom point. Or just select both of them, and go to the align panel, and align them to the center. Drag it here, then hold out and drag it to the right, then go to object, transform, and then reflect it. Select both of them, then from the pathfinder, unite them. Align it to the center. And stretch it down. Now to make the body of the owl, make a circle here. Then decrease the opacity to see the other elements. Align it with the eyes, and make it a little bit smaller than the hat. Drag it here. Then Ctrl C to copy it, then Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now hold out and shrink it from the side like this. Then a little bit from the top, then select the two shapes. And from the pathfinder, click on minus front. Align it to the center of the owl. Then select the eyes, Ctrl C to copy, and then select this shape and then Ctrl F to paste the copied eyes in front. While the eyes are selected, go to Object, scroll down to Path, then click on Offset Path. Set the offset value to 10, then press OK. Ctrl X to cut the offset, then delete the pasted eyes, and then Ctrl F to paste the offset in front, then drag it a little bit up. Ungroup this shape, then select the right part of the offset along with this part, and then click on minus front. And then, do the same for the left part, and then delete these leftover parts. Double click on this shape, and delete any leftover part from the minus front action. Do the same thing for this part. Double click and re-increase the opacity to 100%. Now make another circle. Give it the background color. Then swap the fill and stroke, then overlap it with this shape, then increase the stroke size, and align to make a closed wing shape. Then go to object, and click on expand and press OK. Select it along with this part, then click on minus front. With the Direct Selection tool, click on this point, and then drag the widget to make it rounded. I delete this part. With the Pen tool, I make a triangle here, and I make it curved from here to make it look like a coat collar. Select all these parts, then hold Alt and drag it to the left, then go to Object, and then reflect it, then align it to fit in the design. Make a little circle here to make the button of the coat. Then hold out and drag it down. Then Ctrl D to repeat, and that's it. Moving to the naming and coloring phase. This is the flag and ghost logo. Before I do anything, I will add a little detail here. Make a small rectangle here. Then change its color to white. Then with the DST, select these two points, and drag the widgets to make the rectangle rounded. Drag it here. Then I select it along with the flag stuff. And from the Pathfinder, click on Minus Front. I did this to make it look like the ghost is holding the flag. Now I will give it a color, I'll choose this teal blue. Then I shrink it down. And with the Type tool, I click here. Then I make it bigger. This logo I will name it Spook Wave. Go up to Character, then I remove the All Caps option. I think I will remove Wave and I will name it Spooky. I just wanted it to be shorter. Now, I change the font to a modern and sans serif one, which is Railway. 
and then I change the weight to extra bold. And I activate back the all caps option. Then I align it with the logo. And I change its color to dark gray. And that's it. For the Detective Owl logo. I will select the hat and coat elements. I change the color to this beige color. I will ungroup those. Then I will change the wings color to white. With the type tool. I click here. Then I change the color to white. I remove the all caps option. Then I will name it, Hootsly. For the font, I will choose a serif font called Playfair. No, I will make it all caps. Then I drag the logo here. And I align it with the type, and that's it. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new and had fun watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to join the Facebook group for this series, where you can share your logo designs, get feedback, and interact with other fellow designers. You can find the link to the group in the description below. Thank you for watching.